Hello people, this is Rohan from Price Baba. So you bought an Android phone with an impressive spec sheet but are disappointed with how badly it lags today? Don't worry, we've all been there. So here are 10 things that you can do to reduce the slowdown. All the tips in this video are easily reversible, which means if something's going wrong, you can always roll back to default. Also, some of the tips may be relevant only to recent versions of Android. First, you'll need to enable the developer options in Android. You can do that by going to settings, about, scroll down to the bottom and tap the build number seven times. Let's get started. One, go to developer options and tick force GPU rendering. This offloads some of the work from your CPU to your graphics chip. Older devices should see a noticeable improvement. Know that it may have an impact on battery life, so switch it back off if your battery is draining too fast. Two, tap the window and transition animation scale and the animator duration scale and choose animation off for all these three. This should remove all animation from the UI, making the UI feel faster. Three, you can also try switching the runtime from Dalvik to Art. Again, this may cause a drain on the battery life and a few apps may malfunction. So switch back to Dalvik if you're not satisfied. Four, Put yourself in a habit of regularly backing up your image gallery, including your photos, videos, screenshots, WhatsApp media, etc. and clearing them from your phone. 5. Go to settings, storage and see what else is eating your internal memory. Try to keep it as free as possible. Uninstall an app or game that you don't use anymore. And while you're there, you can also try clearing cache data to potentially fix some of the misbehaving apps that may be slowing your phone down. Remember, you may have to log into some of these apps after doing this, so don't do this often. 6. If your phone comes with custom software instead of stock Android, you can disable some of the apps that the phone maker has put in which are of no use to you. Go to Settings, Apps, Swipe to All and start looking. For example, if you have a Samsung phone, you can disable S Voice if you use Google Now, or you can disable S Note if you use Google Keep, and so on. Also, restart your phone once in a while to see if that helps. 7. If you use multiple Google accounts, go to Settings, Accounts, Google and uncheck all those activities that are not relevant to a particular Google account. 8. Use a lightweight launcher like Nova, Apex or even the Google Now launcher if your phone comes with UI that's bloated by the phone maker. 9. If your phone has an SD card slot and is low on internal memory, consider moving apps and games that can be moved to the SD card. Also, spend a few hundred rupees extra in buying that higher class SD card that's faster. 10. If none of this works, then try a factory reset. It's kind of like formatting and reinstalling Windows on a PC. You have to back up things that aren't saved to the cloud, like your game saves or text messages, etc. But this is a surefire way to get your phone up to speed again. That's it. If you found any of these tips helpful, please share your feedback in the comments below. Also, be subscribed to Price Baba to receive useful videos like this in your inbox. Thanks for watching.